utilizing the guidelines actually supports a positive return on investment, real money. And uh, this can result in significant cost savings. And those cost savings are demonstrated in a variety of different ways. Uh, oftentimes, just completing that upfront planning results in less change orders and, and shorter duration of, of construction timeframes, which helps to provide a significant cost savings. And then by providing environments that support positive resident outcomes and high satisfaction levels, you can actually find ways to improve your reimbursement as a result of that. And as well, if, if we can create a better work environment and keep staff turnover in check, there's another opportunity to save real money. Research has indicated that each employee that's replaced costs the organization 30% of their annual wages, never mind the lack of continuity of care that's given to the residents involved. An example that supports staff retention and positive resident outcomes can include simple things like just having the storage at the point of service and reducing the overall walking distances for care staff. That provides the staff an opportunity to have more time to spend with the residents that they serve. And that results in higher engagement for the staff and also higher levels of satisfaction for the residents and results in better outcomes for everyone.